Hello guys and welcome back to uh, Red Sub Gaming YouTube. Uh, I'm here and I'm going to show you how to import a Minecraft world into Blender, which is right there, and how to fix the transparencies in regular Blender, Render, Form, whatever. So you have transparencies and stuff. So what you're going to first do is, I already have the world here because I just actually made this, but I got finished with it and realized that my mic was off, so <laughs> I'm doing it again. So you see, we got. Um, I'll load up this world for us and show you what we got. Let's kind of render it a little bit. But as you can see, we got a little island here. Pretty nifty little island. My texture packs will be different than what's in there, but yeah, we got this nice little island. Alright, save that. I don't need Minecraft anymore. Open world. Open that world in Mineways, which you can find here on my, at this website. You can get Mineways here. And you just go up here, Mineways, you get download, down for PC. As you can see, it's originally made for um, 3D printing, which is right here. We can also use it to import Blender Minecraft worlds. Or into Blender, into an OBJ form. So we'll go here, we'll kind of zoom in. Uh, we're going to uh, right click and select a bit of the world. Just kind of select the island, which is right there. This is just telling you that the depth that you have set up here is different than what's on, it is a little lower or higher than on here. So it'll automatically fix that. See, I'll automatically fix that. Then you go up here, file export for rendering then you're gonna name it which I already have it right there so I don't need to save it since I already have one right there and no longer really need this or this so it's going to blender load it up and click this so shift alt no let's Turn on my so you guys can tell what I'm doing. Yeah, screen screencast keys. Uh, so let's see, there we go. We got you can tell what I'm doing now. All right, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go to file, import, wavefront OBJ. Then you're gonna go to wherever you have it saved. I've saved Minecraft Blender Minecraft Worlds right here. So now we're going to go and find our world, which is right here. All you need to do is double click the OBJ or just click it and click import OBJ. And then your world will load depending on how big it is. It'll take different ways to load. As you can see, we got our world here. Let's move the camera. I want to show you what it looks like if you were to render it right now. If you were to render it right now, you would get oh, it's a little dark on me. Fix the light. Turn this into a sun. Get a little energy. Go this way. As you can see, you get all these textures. It's just bad. It's square, non transparent. It's all blurry, mid maps and stuff. I'm going to show you how to fix that now. Alright. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it, you're going to select it, just right click it, as you can see down there, if you watch, you're going to go over there, I'm going to get this a little bit, you need to, first you need to open that, then this, and it loads there, what you're going to do is you're going to undo this, you, know, you don't need that, and you're going to scroll down, you're going to use mapping, mapping sampling. So what you're going to do is unclick that, unclick that, go down here, click area, change that all the way down, then you're going to, then you're going to do this, that's why I brought that in the background, being a retard, and you're going to do that, and then it, well, if you render it, uh, you see you have some, yeah, it's a little shadowy, oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just a shadow, I'll turn off shadows. See, we don't want shadows in the shadow. Just to make it look easier. As you can see, it's no longer. See, you have the tall, double wide grass, and you have this. It's different. I can scroll. 
zoom in a little. I want to that G. And now we're under this. As you see, you got your nice looking grass. But then as you see, what I'm going to show you how to fix is how you got this is all blurry and stuff. And then, see, this is what that originally looked like. Now I'm going to show you this. Click this. And we're going to go back up. Don't need this. Scroll back down. Unclick. Unclick. Area. Minimum filter size. This. Click that. And then look. When we render it. You got your double wide grass. As it goes. See? It's no longer that black thing anymore. Now I'll show you how to do the grass. So you get the grass. Let me select the grass. There it is. Alright, so we see up here you don't need to worry about anything up here because there's only that one there, so you don't need to unclick anything up there. All you need to do is you need to go bitmap, interpolation, area, filter size, and then put this there. And then if you were to render it now, you got nice clear grass blocks. So I'm just going, so this is pretty easy, but I will go just because I can, and I will show, and I will fix everything else, and then show you it. Alright guys, it looks like I got it all set up, so we'll just kind of get a little bigger render view. And now, as you can look, you see, look, we got the trees, they're nice, everything, look, oh, forgot the flowers, <laughs> it won't take long to get, alright, which flowers was it? I thought I got them all. Uh, these ones, yeah, I thought I got them. What did I do? Oh, that was it. Ta-da. Nope. Did I not click the... Maybe I need to do something up here. Yep, that's what I thought. Now it should be fine. See, look. Now you got your nice little blender rendered world. And see, you got water. Water works the same way with flowers and stuff. You got gra gravel and all that. And so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that other crap.